Okay, next up, let's go ahead and get a look at how it's washing on the inside. You're going to be surprised. Look how well that's spinning. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to CLO Air TV. This is O. Today, we've got a fun video. We're going to be washing our laundry, our clothes, off the grid. What do I mean by that? We're not using any main power or water to get our laundry done. In this video, we're going to be reviewing two washing machines. One is a little bit smaller than the other. One has more water capacity. And this one in particular has the ability to be charged. Yes, it has its own battery. Okay, we're going to start this review by talking about the smaller one first. The name of this machine is called Pet Mall. Now, you might see the same design or model under a different name in Amazon. But under the link in the description, it will be called the Pet Mall. Now, this compact size is awesome. The really cool thing about this machine is when you press the button, the numbers come on. Now, if you can't really see it there, you got two dashes here. You turn it to the right and the machine is on. Now, there's no magic tricks to this. I'm literally holding a washing machine in my hand that runs off of its own battery. Now, on the inside, you can see the agitator spinning. There it is right there. And also, if you see a blue LED light on the inside, that actually disinfects any bacteria that may be on your clothes. You literally have a charge port on the left hand side and this allows you to sit and charge this via anything. You can charge it via battery bank. You can plug it in a wall wart. You can definitely hook this up to solar and charge it that way or a cigarette lighter uh, car port. You can plug that in here and charge it that way as well. So there's a lot of options with this portable washing machine. Just to talk about some of the specs here, I have a spec sheet. This right here is about 2.7 pounds, so it's very light. It actually has a nice, smooth, tough shell. Um, it uses a lithium ion battery. Also, it's 8 inches of width, 9.5 inches of depth, and 8.4 inches of height. There is no insulation required. It automatically runs as soon as you bring it out of the box. Okay, the theme of this video is portable, energy efficient, off the grid, low wattage, okay? And this bad boy right here gives you some options as well. This is called the Crea Moon, and there's different variations of this on Amazon and many other places. But this particular machine, I'm going to leave the link in the description below, and you can find out more details about it there. Okay, I figured we go ahead and crank these bad boys up. So we've got the Pet Mall on the left, the Crea Moon on the center, which comes in this color and also a green color. And we got our DL Energy R300 that's going to power both of these guys today. All right, so let's go ahead and get to it. All right, before we get washing, I want to talk about this stand I made for the water. So make it like a mini water tower. I made a shelf here so you can hold basins, you can hold uh, soaps whatever you need here at the top this was just some old flooring I had and all I did was let it naturally weather and stain then added clear coat to the top so what do you guys think pretty good all right let's get this water bucket on top and I'll show you the next part okay basically with the setup as you can see I got my soap down here got the bucket on top with five gallons of water right here I got a ball joint spigot and then I also have a PVC attached to the end so you can switch this out with a shower head or whatever you want well, you just turn the ball joint on, clean water comes out, and I sourced this from rainwater, so that's free. All right, so you take a pot or something like that, fill your water, or in this case today, we're going to be using the washing machine. All right, let's get to it. Okay, I just want to get in close to display my setup. There's a piece of small PVC in the inside with a screw joint on it. There's a piece of rubber gasket on this side and on the outside pressure fit so it won't leak then you got your ball joint on this end I decided to add a screw joint to it as you can see right here Let's see if I clean it up and then that way I can unscrew this and then I can screw something new in or just use this fitting right here and then I can screw so I just drilled a small hole and there you go you got your little water system right there also with the tip I did an elbow pointing down now I just added some cloth with some rubber bands. Real simple. All 
All right, that should be enough water. Okay, for this machine, you can wash uh, three pair of socks, two underwears, two tanks, or you could do one t-shirt. So let me go ahead and get my dirty clothes and we'll put some clothes in here to wash. So I got two tanks. Go ahead and put them in the wash. We're gonna be using Buff City soaps and I'm gonna talk about that more on the next clip in, a, in more detail, but you get 20% off with this one. So I might leave one sample in the description below. We're gonna put a little bit of this in here and then some Tide to go with it. All right, get your Tide in there. Now one thing that's cool about this uh, Buff City soaps, it smells really good. And also they have agitating bubbles in it. So it makes your clothes smell real nice. So I'm gonna put a few in there. Let me see if I get a close up so you can see it. All right, so I'm gonna dump a little bit more in so you can see how the bubbles activate. And once you put it in, you can start seeing and hearing it. All right, let's get to washing. Okay, so all you gotta do with this rechargeable wash machine is press the button one time. Right now it's at 95% charge, but it goes up to 99. And uh, you rotate it to the right, and then it starts to wash. Now, right now it's on five minutes. We can go ahead and set it to about 10 minutes. I like to do 15 minutes. Do 10 minutes first, and then do five minutes. So I'll show you inside what it's looking like. Now you can throw a little small sponge or a ball if you want it to agitate more, but that's enough for me. Right, I'm going to come back at the end at about 10 minutes and then you can see what it's looking like. Okay, now you heard the beep. You see the double zero. That means the timer's out. So you can just press the button here. Long press. That'll turn it off. Let me show you inside. Okay, as you can see, the water's a lot dirtier now. All right, that means it's doing some cleaning there. Now, if you wanted to, the main thing you could do is go ahead and drain it. There's a drain plug in the back, and then you can uh, put the rinse water in, but that will take up a lot of rain and rinse water. I'm going to show you how I use a separate uh, washing machine for my rinse, and I use this one for my wash. All right, let me show you how I set that up. Okay, now keep in mind, you can use any one of these for wash, rinse, or both. You could just use one, but I like to use two. It makes it go faster. Links for both washing machines will be in the description below. All right, Ray, this one works. Comes with a lid. Go ahead, take the lid off now so I can show you. This is the wash basin. Has rubber on the outside. What you do, you push it down. Okay, and now it expands. So this has more capacity than this one. Also, a little bit more powerful motor in this one. So make sure that in the back, that your plug is plugged in. Otherwise, when you fill it with water, it's just gonna run out. All right, so like I said, I got my setup as before. We're gonna fill this thing up with water. All right, I'm gonna cut back when it's right and full. I just wanna cut to the inside so you can see. You wanna go ahead and fill it up to this dark purple line. That's plenty of water to rinse or wash anything that you wanna wash, all right? So once it gets to the top of the dark purple line, we're gonna take our Clothes we wash in the smaller one and then put it in this one. All right, we're almost there on the purple line. All right, let's go ahead and shut it off. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing going. I'm gonna show you how to get it plugged up, get it switched on, and get these clothes rinsed. Okay, the lid has tabs on the outside, and all you do is just snap it right in. Make sure the washing machine is face front. Go ahead and snap it in. And that's it. And you got your lid. This keeps the water from splashing out. All right. I just like to wring them out. I try to keep as much water in there for the next load. And if it's not too dirty, I'll keep using it. Usually I can get three or four uh, washes off one water. Then I have to drain and fill it back up again. All right, so I got both tank tops in. Now, this one has its own battery, this one does not. So I'm gonna show you how I run this one. We're gonna run both of these off grid. All right. 
Okay, the machine comes with the lid, also this battery pack right here. So we're gonna run this, I'm gonna show you how much watts it uses. And also it comes with a basket, that's for the spin dry, we could use it or not, I'll decide at the end. We're gonna run this with the DL Energy R300. If you haven't seen my video on the DL Energy R300 portable power station, click on this link above and it'll take you to the video. Okay, so all you gotta do, make sure the power's turned on, make sure the AC power's turned on, and then we're gonna plug it up. Now, if you use uh, solar panels to charge it up, that means you don't spend any money on the electric. That means free electricity to wash your clothes, and then you can source your water. Now, you can use tap water with this, or you can source your water from different places. So, we're going to run it with rainwater. That's where I source my water from, but you can use any type of water you want. All right, once the AC power is on, now just get the camera, get in the camera closer so you can see it. Okay, once the AC power is on, all you gotta do is make sure you pay attention to the watts right here, and then you know how much you're using. All right, so you come over here, hold the switch. When you hear that beep, it's gonna start washing. And right now, so I get it in close on the camera so you can see it. Okay, it's only using 15 watts. Then it's gonna cut down to zero. So every time that motor kicks on, you're only using 15 watts. And then this is saying you can run this for nine hours and I only got 60% on this battery. So if this was charged at 100, you probably could run this for 15 hours. All right. Okay, next up, let's go ahead and get a look at how it's washing on the inside. You're going to be surprised. Look at how well that's spinning. It's agitating the clothes. It's going to go backwards. And see, this is the perfect setup. You're off grid, you're traveling, or you know, camping site, or if you just want to wash your clothes off grid, this is your perfect setup right here. All right, while this load is rinsing, I'm gonna get the machine, the smaller one, and go ahead and start our second load. Barely using any watts. That's like a light bulb, y'all. Not even that much power. All right, for the next load, we're gonna do two pairs of underwear. Now, I wouldn't put it past two. For this little one, I give the exact uh, cubic size and how much you can store in here. But I'd only put two, two pair. Or if you have smaller panties, you probably put three or four panties in there. Uh, but for a man, you know, my size, I'm like 220. Then uh, you're gonna only put two. Uh, underwears in there. Go ahead and get that Buff City soap. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this Buff City soap. And like I said, it's natural ingredients. They got coconut oil, washing powder, citric acid, and fragrance. And the fragrance is really, smells really good. It's called Narcissus. But like I said, it's 20% off. And I'm just using a little bit. And I'll mix that up with the uh, Tide. And then I got me a good little setup. Alright, show you the bubbles. That thing is bubbling, as you can see. All right, I'm gonna finish wringing these clothes out. And I'm gonna show you how I hang them up and dry them and what you could use to hang and dry these clothes with. So after that, I'm gonna show you the rest inside. All right, just give it a little ring like that. Set them aside. I got a little basket on the end. I'm gonna put those in, same thing. Get a nice little ring, make sure the water's out. And that's it. I'm gonna uh, wash this last set or rinse this last set. Then I'm going to show you how to drain each machine and put them away. Okay, one thing I didn't show earlier, there's three wash modes with this particular unit. You got 10 minute standard wash, 
15 minute soft wash and two minute uh, spin dry. So we're just gonna go for that rinse again. All right, it lights up blue. Now it's going ahead and doing that wash. As you can see here. All right, after two washes, you can see how dirty the water gets. So you can either wash one more or just go ahead and drain it out. So I'm gonna show you the drain cap in the back. It's a little plug here. You wanna make sure that you pull this part, this tab, and it'll start draining the water. So I'm gonna show that real quick. All right, all you do is take this tab and just pull. You start seeing the water drain out. All you gotta do is wait. I wanted to show you how dirty it gets inside. Now, if you look here, you can really see all the dirt sediments that collect. And so that's why I really love this wash station because I'm gonna show you real quick what you could do with this. Okay, get this thing nice and clean. All you gotta do, take it like that. Now, if you plug up the back, you can give it a good rinse and just dump it out from the top. That's what I like to do, since it's small enough. Put a little water in there. Swoosh it around like that. Make sure you get all the sediments. And just dump it just like that. And I'm gonna show you the inside now, how clean it is. All right. So look at how much cleaner it is in there. All the dirt's gone. So that's the easiest way to clean it that I found. Rinse it out and dump it off the top. Okay, so after two washes at 10 minutes a piece, let's go ahead and see where our battery percent is at. So you press it one time and right now it's at 55%. So you probably get three or four more washes out of this, 10 to 15 minutes. But well, we're gonna go ahead and charge it up next and I'm gonna show you, after we wash this one, I'm gonna show you how to charge this uh, washing machine. All right, after you hear the beep, it's ready. That means it's finished. So now we're gonna drain the water and I'm gonna show you how the spin uh, bin works. Okay, this one's a little bit different. You got your power cord in the back this time. But if you turn it one more again, as you can see, you got your drain plug right here. So we're gonna go ahead and drain this one. And then I'm gonna show you how to rinse off this one. Then we're gonna do the spin cycle and then I'll show you how to pack it up. All right, all you gotta do is pull the plug. Just that easy. All right, once it's finished draining, I'm gonna put the clothes in the spin basket and then I'll show you how we spin dry the clothes. Okay, for the spin dry, we're gonna leave the spout open so the water can drain out. Now, it's gonna take me a couple tries probably to get it. If I get it the first try, I get lucky. But here's the basket. Now, just like a regular dryer, if it ain't balanced, that thing's gonna spin out. So. Just put the basket in there like that. Let's see if we can get it. All right, if it spins out, I'm gonna show you what that looks like when it spins out, but you wanna make sure that everything is balanced. So we're gonna hold the button. One, two, three. Okay, I'll tell you why I don't like using a basket, but I'm gonna get it set so that way you can see how it looks like when it spins. But I just ring dry them and just set them out. But let me go ahead and set it up, get it spinning, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, the trick is to keep it steady. Sometimes you can put something heavy on top, but it's spin drying now. As you can see, it's rocking, but if I put something on top, it'll help level it out. Let me see if I can open it up without kicking the basket off. There goes the basket spin drying. Whoop, so I get that open. Okay, so you can actually see it spin drying. All right, so I'm gonna let that do its thing for a couple minutes, and I'm gonna show you how it hangs. Okay, the clothes got a little bit dampness but they're a lot drier than they were before. Like I said, I prefer just wringing them out by hand is quicker, but if you want to use the spin feature, there it goes right there. Okay, let me show you how I hang the clothes. I know you've probably seen one of these drying racks before, but it's accordion style. You just expand it this way. Make sure your uh, top is going in like this. And you snap the two pieces on like that. And now you've got a drying rack set up. So. After that, you know, on a sunny day, if uh, it's sunny enough, I'll just hang them right outside, let the sun do the work. But on uh, overcast, rainy days like this, I just do just like this right here. And guys, you won't believe how really good these clothes smell. These clothes smell amazing. Um, 
I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below for Buff City Soaps. Hey, maybe I can get a sponsorship with them. Who knows? All right, I'm gonna hang my other two items that I washed. Like I said, once again, these clothes smell great, guys. And that's it. Go off and do something else. Now, same thing going on here with the other basket. You see it's a little bit more dirt because it's the rent cycle. So this caught everything and really it's not that dirty in here, but I still like to give it a rinse, make sure everything's clean. And uh, I'll show you how I do that. Okay, back at the wash station again, you just pop that cover right back off. If you got any dirt in here, you rinse that off, but really ain't no dirt there, but I'm still rinse it. And then we hit it with some water. Now, same thing I like to do with the other one, same thing with this one. I like to plug this one. Get a little bit of water in there, cut the water off, swish it around, go on the sides, make sure there's no dirt on the sidewalls. Then I just dump it out just like that. And as you can see, that does better than trying to drain it and wash it that way. All right. What's amazing about this washing machine is it only uses six watts of power. And there's light bulbs in your house that don't even use that much power. So this is portable, efficient, has a decent capacity. The machine has a capacity of eight liters. So if you think about that, you know how big a two liter soda bottle is. Um, it actually holds four two liter bottles of water. So that is a lot of capacity in here. With this particular washing machine, you can wash about three pairs of socks, which is six socks, two pairs of underwear, one shirt, two tank tops, and whatever you may need to wash in here that may be a more smaller item. In a separate clip, I'll go over more of the practical items that you will wash with both of these machines. Okay, I wanted to mention a way you can adjust your wardrobe to fit the system. So here I have some board shorts here and you can wear these with a t-shirt or casually when you're back at the hotel or wherever you're traveling in your van or RV. So these are made of polyester. So these, you can fold this up and I'll show you, will fit in the smallest machine, just like that. So if you bring shorts and that's perfect for the summertime, you can use this smaller and even the bigger washing machine to wash your clothes. All right, another option would be sweatpants. Now, they make some stylish designs and the particular sweatpants you wanna get are the thinner ones. So, or nylon pants that are of a very thin material. So you could wear those type of pants and put into this size washing machine. Okay, another thing to consider, you definitely can wash uh, cloth diapers, uh, small hand towels and washing cloths in something like this, dishcloths, washing cloths. But where you're gonna hang up into a trouble is washing the bigger towels in this. So at max, I would say maybe a half size towel for your body, but um, this size towel is optimal for using in this particular washing machine. This machine is a bit heavier at 4.2 pounds it's 11 by 11 by six. Um, this one also holds eight liters of water, but I found that the capacity on this feels a little bit more roomy and more open than the compact machine. One cool feature, you have a removable lid right here. You also have your spin dry basket. And another cool thing, you can collapse it, store it away. It's also got suction cups on the bottom this allows you to keep it steady and so it won't slide or move around while the machine is washing. One thing that's really cool about this machine is that it folds up into this small compact size. So literally this could fit in a bag or it could fit in the trunk of your car or this could fit somewhere in the closet and really not hurt anything. This doesn't take up really any space. So to travel with this, I know that when I take my vacations and trips, I'm traveling with this bad boy. You never know when you're gonna get into an accident, run into some mud or dirty up your clothes and you might not wanna go and buy clothes. This way you can change your clothes out, wash them, dry them, and they'll be ready for the next day. Okay, I wanna illustrate some ways that you could charge this machine. So right now I'm turning it on the side so you can see the USB charge port. 
and all you got to do is plug your USB-C cable inside of there there it is plugged and then if you charge up your battery bank you can charge an entire wash machine with a portable battery bank isn't that something so there we go we're turning it on and just to prove that it is charging there is the number it's at 55 percent currently on the internal battery so isn't that cool guys that's very awesome technology Okay, a more optimal way that I consider to recharge is go ahead and get you a portable power station. And I've reviewed this DL Energy R300. You can click on the link above. And this is, I've loved this uh, portable battery bank because I hook it up to solar during the day. It's keeping this tapped on 100%. I use about uh, 55 watts of power and it doesn't drain. Um, but anyway, as far as the machine, you just plug it right in the front and now you are charging literally off of usb power so right now it's charging and as you can see right now it's saying you have 14 hours and this this battery bank is only at half full so if you look here it's only taking eight watts to charge and this thing can run for 10 hours if you need to charge it but it's only going to take maybe 30 minutes to get this thing charged to full this is the optimal way if you're traveling that you want to carry your charging because you can run the other machine off of this and charge this machine off of the same portable battery bank. Okay, links will be in the description below for all three of these items. Okay, so now we're here at the final thoughts of the video. We'll start with the smaller washing machine first. One thing I really like about this machine is you're able to charge this thing. You don't have to be plugged into a wall to use it. I also like that it's a hard shell and it's fixed. And that adds a lot of durability and stability as this thing is spinning and washing. I also like that this only uses 6 watts of power and charges quickly. And I also like that this charges via USB-C on the side. Both of these machines have a drain plug in the back, and I really like that as well. When you open it up, each machine comes with a disinfecting light in there to kill the bacteria. So I also like that feature in there. The only thing that you may not like or that I may not like about this machine is that it is fixed. Whereas with the other machine, you can actually collapse it and stow it away. Even though you can't collapse this one, this one is less intrusive. This one looks like an appliance that you would leave out. So it really looks sleek and nice and it doesn't take up a lot of space even though it is fixed. With the Career Moon washing machine, the good thing about this one is it's price to entry. So this one's going to be uh, half the price of the smaller one. But here's the thing about this one. You do need to plug it into the wall in order to use this machine. Now that might affect you if you're traveling, that might be a no-go for you. If you're a, a van lifer or if you do RVing, you might want to carry the one that recharges. Um, that way it's less intrusive, but in this case, you got to plug it in. Also, you cannot wash this with it's in its collapsed form and the basket does not fit collapsed. Now one thing that would be cool if they made a basket that also collapsed that you could sit in here and allow it to be all one flat package. Um, so this one does use a little bit more power. The other one uses six watts. This one uses 14 to 15 watts, but it's still even better because it has a more powerful motor and it really washes those clothes well. Also, I like the fact of this has three modes. Uh, you have your wash, your gentle wash, and your spin cycle. The smaller machine has one mode, but that's all you really need. You drain it after you get done washing it, and then you put your new water in for your rinse and hit the same mode again. So whichever one you decide to pick up is what's best that suits your needs. I wanted to make this video to let you know that there are options out there that are affordable that also will prepare you for some things to come. So if there's ever an emergency, you have, uh, let's say you get a wound, a cut, or get shot, and you had to really hurry up and use some fabric to get some bandages, and you had to, after a while, 
take those bandages, wash them, and replace those bandages. This is also good to have. So you got off-grid use, you got travel use, you got emergency case use. And guys, I use these every day on a regular basis. So um, although they're small and you have to do more cycles to wash a complete load of clothes, these are really advantageous and good to have. Some things that might deter you from purchasing a machine like this is that you won't be able to wash uh, jeans, you won't be able to wash, uh, let's say, uh, comforters, but I imagine some small sheets, both of these could handle, and some pillowcases, these both definitely can handle. Rags and small towels, this can definitely handle, but your bigger items, these are not the machines that you would do it with. Some ways you can adjust your wardrobe if you're traveling with these, you can wear shorts or you can wear pants that are of a certain material that are allowed to be more flexible and compact so you can put them in the machine. So there are workarounds if you want to adjust and bring your washing machines with you when you're traveling, RVing, or on a vacation. I really appreciate you guys tuning in on my channel. If you see anything you like in the video, links will be in the description below. And also, if you would like to support the channel, there are many support links in the description below. Guys, I'm always appreciative that I can share these videos with you. And if I can share information that might free up your finances or give you more options in life to free up your time, that's what I like to do. And that's what these particularly do. You have your off-grid power, you have your off-grid washing your machines, and this is something that doesn't have you tethered to a place you can take it with you and also free up your time and also free up your expenses on utilities so guys thank you for watching my channel i'll be reviewing more washing machines and more off-grid methods to wash clothes and more off-grid methods to obtain water and use water and create water systems so be on the lookout for those videos thank you for tuning in and take care i'll see you on the next video